We love you. Um, just a little update on making a murderer. Now, as we know, Stephen Avery may get a new trial. Um, he's got closer than he ever has before. Now, we're talking about Brandon Dassey. He has moved to Oshkosh Correctional. Yes, guys, they have moved him. Originally from Manitowoc, Wisconsin, uh, was moved up uh, to Wapon er, uh, area, but he was in uh, Columbia. He was in Columbia Correctional Institution, and now he is moved to Oshkosh, which is not far from Wapan, near Fond du Lac, up that way. So it's not too far from his uncle. He has been moved on the 3rd of April. Um... So there you are, guys. And it's a good thing for him. It's a great move for him. It shows that he has been a, a good inmate, followed the rules, and has got a promotion. How about that? How about that, guys? Uh, and the, the good news, he will be closer to his family in Manitowoc in Manitowoc County Wisconsin so that's a good thing that his parents will be able to visit him because um, he he has no more appeals uh, for some reason and he will be serving life in prison if something good don't come out of Avery's appeal because um, this case just isn't making any sense. Um, so we all know the Avery case of making a murderer on Netflix. So, um, Netflix brought this case to light and all around the world that they're just not understanding this case. I mean, I'm not understanding some of the evidence they got or lack of, lack of, or it was put there, or something was moved from one place to another, and then, um, and so on. Well, we'll see how that goes. But he has been moved from Columbia to Oshkosh. He moved from a maximum security prison. And he has moved to minimum security prison. Because he's been there a long time since mm, 2005. He's been um, s sentenced to life in 2005 for murdering Teresa Hellback in Manitowoc County. And his uncle, Stephen Avery, was convicted of first-degree intentional homicide in a separate jury. And last June, United States state Supreme Court denied Des, uh, Desi's uh, right of um, uh, to hear uh, arguments on his appeal. So he lost that right. Uh, the Supreme Court denied his um, appeal. And that was I guess that was his last hope. That was his last hope. But Avery has got some hope. And 
whatever evidence they got going on, he may get a new trial. But this um, Dency, he's only 16 and he seems like he's a little slow. Uh, he's not all there, easily led, uh, makes up lies, uh, don't tell the truth, tells you what you want to hear so he can go home, that kind of kid. Uh, I don't know. It, we see the interview and how he was being led by an investigator. He made false promises to him. And I don't even know what happened there. I mean, it wasn't right, was it? That part wasn't right. I mean, whether he did it or whether he didn't, this detective, this uh, investigator, or what, um, the way he did his interview, uh, that, that just wasn't right. But, you know, I don't know how they do things up there, up in Manitowoc. They seem to be uh, a little um, on the crooked side. Yes, and that's my opinion. They seem to be on the crooked side. And plus, they didn't want to pay out Avery's lawsuit, which was millions, millions, to a small town that don't have much money. Um, they wasn't about to let him get any money, even though Avery said, that he, uh, what did he say? He said that um, he would drop, he would drop it, or he'd file for less money. I don't know, but I think he got frightened. You know, I think this man should have moved, should have never went back to M Manitowoc. He should have... Um, I know he had family there and he had a job in the business. But he should have got the hell out of Dodge. And let things die down and took his um, case to um, the courts. But in the meanwhile, be living far away from that town. Because now he's right back where he was and he has twin boys uh short-lived he visited them for a little while and they say he's a good father uh he's a good father but you know what he did the best he could serving 18 years in prison for for nothing for nothing so it wasn't his fault that he was in prison. And so, but he was a good father um, the time he was out. At the little time that he had with his two boys. And just, just how that went. And so that's the good news for all you fans out there that believe both of these, or at least Brandon, deserves a trial. He nearly got out. He nearly got out. He nearly got out that one time. He was just hours away of being released. And something happened. And he got... S and that was the end of it. There's something fishy going on in this case. And this body and these accounts that went on could have easily been put there from some dirty cops, some dirty investigators, the dirty town, or whatever is going on there, and the rumors, and the evidence just don't match the crime. Don't match the crime. Uh, 
it looks like they were moved from one place to another. Where's the blood? Uh, where is there a lot of evidence? There is a lot of evidence that I feel may have been tampered with. Well, that's just my opinion, and we can all have one. So what do you think about the case? What do you think so far? Uh, we'll have your thoughts and have your opinions, and let's discuss this. And thank you for stopping by.